Hello friends, this video on integers part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So with this we have covered all the properties related to addition and subtraction of integers. Now let us quickly look at some of the questions based on these properties of integers. Now as we have learned before also that these properties basically help us to make our calculations simpler. So we will learn about that also a little later. Write a pair of negative integers whose difference gives 8. So that means you need two negative integers such that when you subtract them, you get 8. Now let us quickly draw the number line. Why am I drawing this number line? Just to help you understand it better. Let's say this is 0, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, 8 and 9. Say 10. Now you have to pick any two integers. Let's say that for the first integer you can actually pick any integer that you want to. Let's say that I have picked minus 1. So let's say I know that one integer is minus 1. Now what should be the other negative integer such that the difference is 8? Now in order to have 8 difference, you actually need to make 8 jumps from minus 1. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Right? So where did you reach? You reach at minus 9. So therefore the other integer would be minus 9. Now let us subtract minus 1 minus minus 9. So this would be this would be same as subtracting minus 9 from minus 1 would be same as adding the additive inverse of minus 9 which is 9. So minus 1 plus 9 would be plus 8. And this is what we wanted. So the pair of negative integers that we chose were minus 1 and minus 9. Now it is not necessary that these are, this is the only possible answer. If you want to choose minus 3, you could have chosen minus 3 as one integer. In that case, you make 8 jumps from minus 3 and where do you reach? You reach at minus 11. So when you subtract these two, minus 3 minus minus 11, you get it as minus 3 plus 11 which is equal to 8. So minus 3 minus 11 could be another pair of negative integers whose difference is 8. So you can have infinite number of pair of negative integers whose difference would be 8. Question number 2. In a quiz team A scored minus 40, 10, 0 and team B scored 10, 0, minus 40 in 3 successive rounds. So this is like the score of round 1, round 2, round 3. Similarly, round 1, round 2, round 3 for team B. Which team scored more? Now, if I ask you about the total score, first you need to find the total score of both team A and team B. So for team A, let us find the total score. So team A total score would be equal to minus 40 plus 10 plus 0. Similarly for team B the total score would be equal to 10 plus 0 plus minus 40. So when you add these what do you get? So the total score here is minus 30 and the total score here is minus 30 again. Now just by looking at these you can say that the score would be the same because you see they are basically the same integers just that their orders have changed and we have seen that addition is commutative, addition is associative. So therefore it was quite evident that the sum would be the same. Right? So from this we say that both scored the same. And we can also say that we can add integers in any order. That is what we have seen in the associative property of integer as well. Question number three. Fill in the blanks to make the following statements true. Minus five plus dash is equal to minus eight plus dash. Now try to remember the properties now. You add two numbers the order of the numbers even if you change the sum remains the same so here on the left hand side you are given one integer that is minus 5 on the right hand side you are given one integer that is minus 8 
So can't we say that minus 5 plus minus 8 is equal to minus 8 plus minus 5? So this, this basically means a plus b is equal to b plus a, which is stated by the commutative property of addition for integers. Let's look at the second one. Minus 53 plus dash is equal to minus 53. So you see the same number you get. So what is that integer which when added to any integer gives the same number? It retains the identity. Yes, I am talking about the additive identity. And which is the additive identity? It is nothing but 0. 17 plus dash is equal to 0. Now, which is that number which when added to a number always gives 0? That is nothing but additive inverse. And how do we find additive inverse? It is just the negative of the same number. So 17 plus minus 17 will give you 0. 13 plus minus 12 plus dash is equal to dash plus minus 12 plus 7. So here we have involvement of three integers. So let's, let's recall the associative property which says that a plus b plus c is equal to a plus b plus c. Now looking at this, can you say that 13 is the a here, minus 12 is the b here, and what is c? c is not given here. And in this case, what is c? c is nothing but minus 7. So this would be minus 7 and this would be 13. And with this, this equation satisfies this associative property. Now, based on the same associative property, we can do the last one as well. Minus 4 plus dash plus minus 3. So, here B is missing. Is equal to A plus B is given here. So, this is our B. So, this would be 15. And what is this? This is our A. So, this would be minus 4. And this is our C. So, this would be minus 3. So, basically, we have filled all of these. You making use of the different properties of integers. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.